Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation. Let's do the Eric Dieter Show. Well, this gentleman right here, a couple days after, after blowing the whistle on Boeing, is found dead in his car. A little suspicious, isn't it? All right, Christopher Ray says that ISIS is working with these other cartels and human trafficking. ISIS. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Of course, we know Christopher Ray is a spleeny, dizzy eyed horn beast. Shakespeare and Salt of the Day. All right, Donald Trump is coming this weekend to Dayton, Ohio, to campaign for Bernie Marino who is going to be the next United States Senator from Ohio. Trump called Facebook the enemy of the people. He's correct. Staff told Biden, no more questions. He actually asked the question. Just think about this. Joe Biden, the President of the United States, is ran by his staff. Wasn't allowed to take any questions. Big primary today. Trump's going to go over the top. So will Biden. Georgia, Hawaii, Mississippi, and Washington vote today. Peter Navarro has got to report this month to prison. He tried to delay it. Isn't going to work. And last but not least, Ben Hurd. I'm not joking. Robert Hurd is testifying before Congress today on his report with the documents involving Joe Biden where he let Joe Biden off the hook. Just think about this. If all the prosecutors took this section, because Joe Biden's a senile Spleeny, dizzy-eyed, horn beast. He gets a pass. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, let's do local news. Well, this gentleman right here, a rumpke driver who was found dead, they've now opened up a homicide investigation. In local news, sad. Took, used to take my kids here when they were little. The Independence Gateway announced yesterday after 20 years in business, 536 is going to go through them. They were going to relocate, but they're shutting it down. March 30th. Sad, sad news. All right, in Kentucky news, uh, the state house is passing legislation to regulate electronic cigarettes with minors. A bishop in Louisville, Jonathan Mullins, apparently burnt down his own church. The Breonna Taylor Act, sponsored by Rand Paul and others. No knock searches anymore. That's what they're asking for. And the governor's going to hold his 56, it's not his 56, but the 56th annual governor's prayer breakfast. In Ohio news, the president of Moeller High School, pictured here, Marshall Hidezu, was arrested after acting kind of crazy in Nashville, getting drunk, apparently hitting on people changing his clothes, coming back, being told to leave, coming back. He just had a bad day. <laughs> and then warning shots. Ohio's pa uh, The Supreme Court in Ohio on a 4-3 to three decision. Fisher joined with the Democrats that allow warning shots are allowed in self-defense. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Hello, you're watching Eric Dieter's World News. This is Jamie Spinley. Today's headlines. French President Emmanuel Macron's announcement of constitution to legalize aid in dying, reflecting public support and addressing end-of-life options. The departure of the charity ship Open Arms from Cyprus carrying vital food supplies to Gaza amongst a humanitarian crisis. The destination is undisclosed for security reasons. Airbnb's global ban on indoor security cameras inside rental properties, prioritizing guest privacy and addressing users' concern. The policy change comes effective at the end of the month. And U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's arrival in Jamaica for emergency talks involving multiple countries and organizations to address the escalating violence in Haiti. Pressure mounts on Prime Minister Ariel Henry amongst calls for his resignation. That's the latest deadlines. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports Without Boundaries. Louisville's going to play North Carolina State today. West Virginia is at UC. Dak Prescott filed a lawsuit for defamation against a woman who threatened him with a $100 million demand 
over claiming he sexually assaulted or said it's not true. Kelsey's are going to do a podcast at Bearcat Stadium, Nippert Stadium, in April. Sample, the, the tight end for the Cincinnati Bengals has re-signed with the Bengals. The Bengals let Joe Mixon go and has signed running back Zach Ross from the Indianapolis Colts. The Bears plan a new stadium, $2 billion, $2 billion next to Soldier Field, not somewhere else. Jackson Dart, the quarterback from Ole Miss, has signed a NIL deal. You ready for this? It's private jets. And the private jet company is going to let him use those private jets, six of them, whenever he needs them. Wow. Mo Hassan, who was a quarterback for Vanderbilt, claimed that he was approached by Mafia to fix the game. And the guy told him that most SEC games are fixed. I don't believe that. Bengals, you ready for this? Signed Geno Stone, a safety from the Baltimore Ravens. Reed Shepard is uh, freshman of the year in the SEC, and he's also now being touted as maybe the number one pick by the NBA. Awusie, the Cincinnati Bengals, is headed off to Tennessee Titans. Iron Mike released a video of him boxing. He is 30 years older than Jake Paul. I hope he wins. Jim Nance was honored at Houston, his alma mater. He was on the national golf champion back then. Now we know why he covers golf. Kirk Cousins is headed to the Atlanta Falcons. UK has moved up to number nine on the AP ranking. T. Higgins has demanded a trade from the Cincinnati Bengals. Saquon Barkley has signed with the Washington Commanders. Josh Jacobs of the Oakland Raiders is signed with the Green Bay Packers. Tony Pollard, Tennessee Titans. And my Simon Kenton Pioneers are in the finals of the eighth region. They've never reached Rupp Arena under Trent Steiner. Maybe this will change things. And Northern Kentucky University lost in the semifinals of the Horizon League, 82-75. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. Kate Milton, apologize for the edit on the photo. This is the most ridiculous thing in the freaking world. Unbelievable. Poor Kate. Hang in there, Kate. Drake had Dillingham of the University of Kentucky Wildcats on stage with him this past weekend. Bet she was happy. And Eric Carmen, Hungry Eyes, remember that song? But my favorite was he was with the Raspberries, and the song is I Want to Be With You. Has died at 74. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Hungry eyes. Good thing we better not keep our... Yeah, it was Dirty Dancing. He's got a good first name. You know what Eric means? It means king. Carmen sounds very gypsy-like, so he must have Viking gypsy blood. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. 